the atmosphere at the Tafawa Balewa Square, venue of the swearing in ceremony, is typical of the popular Eko for Show, a Lagos parlance used to describe the city's love for colorful carnivals. The women's traditional Yoruba headgears called Gili formed an alliance to amplify the beauty of the ceremony and nearly robbed it of its, it of its real essence. The presence of security agents and members of the judiciary dressed in the full complement of their gowns and wigs reminded attendees that the event was not just another Owambe, the regular social event in the state. As is the practice, men of the Nigerian police serenaded the audience with a well choreographed march past. Then it was time for the main business the swearing in of Governor Sonwolu and his deputy, Obafemi Amzad. It was a solemn moment. Sonwolu, who is returning for a second term of four years in office after winning the March 18th general election, says his administration remains resolute in the mission to position Lagos as a prime destination for investment and growth. He also recognized that a strong and diverse economy is the foundation for sustainable progress. As we venture into this second term, I want to assure you that the spirit of our endeavors remains unfiltered. We will continue to tackle our challenges head on and celebrate our successes. We will harness the potentials of our greatness and the resources of our people. We stand on the threshold of a new era, an era that calls for us to evolve, to reimagine, and to forge ahead. Our vision for Lagos is one that sees no bound. It is a vision of a city where dreams take flight, where every citizen is a part of our growth story, and where the global community looks forward to us with respect and admiration. Governor Sonwolu also announced a review of his administration governing agenda tagged themes, which means a focus on transportation and traffic management, healthcare delivery, education and technology, security and governance, among others. He says it is now to be known as Themes Plus. The plus representing the incorporation of an intensified focus in these next four years on social inclusion, gender equality, and youth development. In other words, we are strengthening and reinforcing our teams with a no one left behind philosophy. No one will be left behind on account of their social status. No one will be left behind on account of their gender or age. We will design all of our programs and policy to ensure that everyone is carried along and is catered for. This is our solemn promise to you, Lagosian. Sawolu and Amzat both have the next 48 months to achieve all they have set for themselves as agenda as resident of the state, keep a tab on their performance in office. Oba Adeoye, Arise News, Lagos.